stack wrap has three different wrapping techniques that you can use. Contract E10 allows you to practice all three wrapping techniques. I just want to remind you that this is not how you would wrap a permanent wave if you were putting solution on this. You would pick one of these methods and do the entire head using that one method if you were actually doing a perm. This is just to practice each one of the stack wrap methods. Remember the stack wrap gives greater curl in the nape and you can see with all three types of wraps, they are wrapped close to the nape area. The stack wraps that we have here in the center, we have the traditional stack wrap. If you remember, we wrap two rods right to the scalp and then every rod after that was a half a turn left away from the scalp, half turn, if it was not rolled right to the scalp. And that gives us this stacked illusion and the hair will be smoother on top. There will not be a lot of curl in the crown area and there will be more curl in the nape area. So this is the traditional stack wrap. And all five sections could be wrapped using the traditional stack wrap. The loose stack wrap is when we pull away from the scalp to stack the perm rods, but we also change and increase the diameter of the rods we're using. So this will again create a tighter curl near the nape area and will increase the curl and the this gives more of a beachy look it's a really nice look actually um, it is still smooth on top there's no curl no activity no rhythm up in the crown area so you have to make sure that your client suits that style so you can see the first two rods we rolled to the scalp and then the remainder rods are pulled away from the scalp that half a turn and it increases so it's half a turn then a full turn then a turn and a half and it just keeps increasing so that we can stack those rods so this is the loose stack wrap and our traditional stack wrap and then the more popular one here now is the spiral stack wrap so if you look underneath here we can see we still have two horizontal rods and they are both still rolled right to the scalp. And after those horizontal rods, we start to use our spiral wrapping technique. And we started off with a purple rod, went to the sand color or peach colored rod, and then went to the orange, the larger. So we increase the size again. You don't have to increase the size with the spiral stack wrap. You can do it all in one color, but I just thought it would be nice to increase the size again as well and use a few different perm rods. It gives a nice soft look, but there's strength in the nape. When, with all these, the strength of the curl pattern is in the nape. So just to practice, you can try this contract. It is contract E10. And we didn't put anything in the front, but if you want, you could put either one of these stack wraps in. For practice, you could also do all five sections in the traditional stack wrap, and then you could do all five sections in the loose stack wrap, and then all five sections in the spiral stack wrap. You can also, if you have these two panels open and you're just practicing, you can also just wrap these and follow you know, follow the shape of the head and just practice your basic wrapping from coconut wrap in these front panels. So it's up to you, but this is a good practice technique for the stack wrap. Hopefully you understand the stack wrap now. Remember the key thing with stacking is it's always more curl in the nape and no curl in the crown. And it gradually lessens so that that curl blends with the non-curly hair. 
So that is stack wrapping, three different techniques. I hope you have fun trying them all and good luck. <laughs>